Wayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got this nice little uh, 1927 Remington portable. It's the kind of a uh, style machine that's got the raisable type here. Comes back down, goes back up. Very cool. This has a little problem we're going to see if we can take care of on camera. I've already taken a look and seen how to do it or possibly how to do it. It's this uh, leather cue sitting lower than all these others. <laughs> Everything here is pretty even except the cue and it also feels a little funny. Um, when you type these other characters, they're, they've got a certain amount of... But if you, the cue does not feel the same. You have to press it a little harder to get it to action. So I looked in here and it looks like maybe the link is bent. I don't know. We're going to try this together and see if what I think the solution is the solution. Thankfully, that cue is the linkage here on the very side here. It's the first one, which makes access pretty easy right there. So it's this one going up and down right there. And it looks like this whole type bar is bent downward. That's also affecting, since it looks like it's bent downward, it's also engaging the ribbon left here. Let's see if we can find this down here. So this portion, this piece right here that moves, it's bottoming out when you hit the Q. It won't, it's basically bottoming out right here. If I force this down, it, it's got, it's got better action. So there's, you know, one solution might be to form this little tab here. That's part of the Q, this M tab. I'm going to try to raise the bar up. If you look up here too, it's sitting lower than all, all these other ones right here. So I have a feeling this whole bar is bent. At some point, um, figuring out where it's bent is a little tricky, but I think I've got it as idea where it's bent. So if I'm going to reform it, back up. It's got to be reformed before it hits that pivot point, so it would have to be reformed around here, because it can't be reformed past this link, which is where the type bar is connected. So, got these bender tools. These are tools like this that, that have slots in them, and you can put them in and bend. They have different sizes, different kinds, and I've got a couple different kinds here. This one's got the widest opening. In fact, I had to grind it open a little larger to accommodate this this lever in here. But, so if we look here, try to get this on camera. And put this bar on the lever here. So it fits the lever's getting more narrow up on this point. It gets a little thicker right here. So I got this to fit and I'm going to slide it up as far as I can before the tool doesn't fit anymore right about there. And now I'm going to I'm going to bend. I'm going to form it. I'm going to try forming it up and hopefully this will go up. And I'm going to do it right here right now. And I hope you know, the adjustments running into this plate. Here, when I want to move the, uh, I don't have them. wants to run into this. Let's see if I can get it to go. Need a little bit of. A I think it did work because there it is it's higher let's look underneath here oh look at that it's even now let's try see how she types okay come on let's hope this thing worked I don't need any secondary problems so oh, wonderful <laughs> that 
till somehow this got forced down. So sure enough, even, 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 wonderful. I don't need that to be a complicated deal. So that's that's wonderful. That's a pretty neat adjustment on a 92-year-old typewriter. Wonderful. So that's what you do when you have troubles. You analyze it and come up with a solution. All right, Phoenix Typewriter. Good day.